Hello and welcome back to the sideboard one last time here at Grand Prix Richmond. I am Nick Miller alongside your Grand Prix Richmond champion, Brian Liu. Thank Congratulations you very much. to show off the trophy. Oh. How do you feel right now? I feel absolutely great. After going seven one and one in day one, I had to win out on day two, which I did. Not and a problem. Yeah, I was I was already happy to make the Pro Tour, and then now winning the GP is amazing. And you said this is your second Grand Prix ever? Yes, this is my second Grand Prix. My first one was GP Toronto when it was modern, so two years ago, where I played the same deck. And you came down with a car full of friends, 12-hour yes. drive from, from about, Toronto, yes. and your friends were mocking you after you won. They said you just wanted to make day two. Yeah, I, I just wanted to play Magic, have fun day two. I, I, Making this part was unbelievable. I would say taking down the largest constructed Grand Prix of all time yes. surpasses that goal by quite a bit. Yes. Uh, talk about why you chose to play Kiki Pod this, uh, this weekend. Well, I first chose Kiki Pod back in my, on my first Grand Prix, mm -hmm. which is Grand Prix Toronto. I chose Kiki Pod because I just love playing with Birds of Paradise, man, man, one mana accelerants. Right. So, and once I started, uh, I just didn't stop. I, because Modern is a format that rewards uh, experience. Right. Basically, knowing your deck inside out, uh, knowing the field, knowing how to play your deck. And Birthing Pod has a game against, or at least my Birthing Pod deck has a game against uh, a large variety of the field. That is definitely something we saw all weekend long with players that play a consistent deck just doing well. Yeah. You had Josh McLean playing Pod. You know, you had uh, Dickman playing Tarmo Twin. You know. Oh, okay. Playing a deck you know, you definitely, deck, you definitely have an advantage. Talk about the matchups with Maliripod and how your deck is suited to just take that down as you played it in both the quarterfinals yes. and the semifinals. Well, against the Maliripod matchup, I, I believe I am favored. Uh, I can, there, it's a very complicated matchup. Both decks are very complicated. Yeah. There's whoever plays pod second and destroys the other pod. There's whoever gravity townships first and whoever gets Linvala first. And uh, my deck is way more suited to combo off quite quickly, and uh, Melira Pod does not have many ways to interact with the combo other than Linvala. Talk about game three of the finals against Affinity. Oh my God. He, he, go, he decides to mulligan down to six. You look at your seven card hand and snap it off. What, was, what all was in there? It had uh, two lands. Um, one mana accelerant, which is it's already a very good start. Right. But when I saw a shadow storm, that that was the best feeling of my life. <laughs> and and what even put it over the top was I had a court of calling to court for Kotaki in case he had a thought seize, which I I knew he had in his sideboard. Right. He resolved shadow storm, yes. and he was an island yes. for the rest of the game, pretty much. Yes. I could I could even court for eternal when it's getting back shadow storm, even if I needed to but I, I saw that was not necessary. I'd say it all came it. together yeah. pretty well for you for one amazing weekend. Yes, Again, congratulations sure. to Thank Brian you. Liu. For the last time here in the sideboard at Grand Prix Richmond, I'm Nick Miller signing off.